talking triplex, talking converting. Is that her? Hey, guys, say something. I Hello. Said, Hi, I'm Mark. Hi, Pam. <laughs> Hello. I'm the uh, horrible boss around here, but uh, please don't hire Jamie Foxx to kill me. <laughs> Django! I don't agree with the use of the N-word in that movie. It's, it's too soon. I'm Pam. Helper. Oh, hi. hi. Pam. They call me Marky Mark around here because here at Simon Realty, we are one funky bunch. Come on, you guys. Raise the roof when I say that. I, what are you, all temps again today? Let's go, Gangnam Style. <laughs> he's heard Gangnam Style, he knows it, right? That's because he's American. This is Carl. Uh, he's from here, he's from our neck of the woods. But Gangnam Style's great, isn't it? Oh my God, he's Michael Scott. This is not so much an office as it is a uh, rec room with a bunch of computers in it. <laughs> and frankly, if I had my way, I toss the computers in the garbage, but unfortunately we use them for practically everything we do, so that ain't gonna happen. He's a temp, don't worry about him. Alice! All right, stay awake, okay? This is a tiny resume. Papa Smurf, come back to the mushroom. <laughs> From the Smurfs movie. Yeah, I've, I've seen that with my kids. Um, it is tiny. But I've actually been commissioned by the city of Scranton to paint a. What does this say the... here? To 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 per ta. What language is this? Swahili? Oh, wait a second. Now I can oh, read it. Oh, because it was upside down. <laughs> <laughs> You're a good audience. <laughs> so, Unlike um, some of these people around here. Yeah, the um, the city commissioned me to do the. Yeah, we don't have a lot of call for doodling around here, but I like this resume, and here's why. It shows that you stick around. Yeah, you don't jump ship easily, like a lot of these people. <sighs> I mean, they, they worship me, you know, but do they like me? I mean, think they like me, Pam? Yes. What if Bob Dylan was your boss? I'm going to do Dylan. Pam Halpert is my name. I've been at Dunder Mifflin for seven years, eight years, eight years, man. Got the Dunder Mifflin blues. Got the Pam Halpert blues. Got prayer with the Pratt Institute. Has, you have children? Two children, and yes. And you have art okay. and painting? Mm -hmm. Kind of the same thing. Kind of the same thing. I, Sometimes I repeat myself, but that's just being Pam. Well, I'm kind of cute and I'm, but I'm married, so leave that be. Did uh, you just interview? Oh, unfortunately, yes. What do you mean? That business can't attract anyone. It's awful up there. Those people seem like they're in prison, waiting out life sentences in a dying industry. Well, this must be horrible. I don't know if I want this job. Well, if I get this job offer, then I know that I'm going to take it. And if I take it, I know that I'm never going to quit. And then 25 years are going to go by, and I'm going to die here. You guys pay for relocation, though, right? Well, why would you need relocation if you already live in Scranton? Well, I, I'd want to move further away. You know, just don't want any chance to run into my coworkers outside the office. Can I ask why you're leaving your current job? I'm leaving my other job because they were all jerks. Well, I, you know, all of them. You had your jerk wads and your jerk offs, so. It's between the wads and the offs. I just I gotta get out of there. Is this a bad time to be doing this? I don't want my world back home. I'm sorry, if, if we did something to upset you, I, I'm sure it was inadvertent. Wait, oh, why did I believe that weirdo in the lobby? 
These are the nicest people I ever met. Honestly, I think I, I sabotaged myself. It's, it's like I'm afraid of being happy. Case in point, I was supposed to start another job today. I want the job. I really do. It's just the rest of my family's in the Finger Lakes right now. I'm supposed to be in the Finger Lakes right now. I told him I was on a hike, snuck away to do this interview. I gotta get back pretty soon, don't worry. People disappear in the Finger Lakes. This is the world famous Rockefeller Center, founded of course by Theodore Rockefeller. This is a skating rink, and I think the Rangers uh, practice there sometimes. And it's, that's Tina Fey. That's Tina Fey from Saturday Night Live. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Hi. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I thought you were okay. <laughs> I thought that was. She looked like she looked a lot like Tina Fey. Hello, hello. I thought that was Tina Fey, but it wasn't. So, are you serious? He was here. When? When I was talking to the fake Tina Fey? Come on! And I was serious. All right, there you go. Seems a little close. You sure that's the real foul line? Fifteen feet from the baseline. So, do you need me to move it in? No, nah, that's fifteen. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you know what? To make it interesting, Jordan, why don't you sit underneath the basket? Seriously? Yeah. Come on. I'll dunk over you. Best seat in the house. I don't. I don't think I can do that. I'm, I'm holding you, Jordan. Right. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Kevin, you do it. Yes. Why don't you? Okay. Here. Someone want to sit in Kevin's lap? Angela? No. Oscar? No, thank you. Okay, Jimmy, this is for you to show you that anything is possible. Fantastic. All right? Yep. This is also for the troops. Now what? D'Angelo? Tev, like, oh my god, are you all right? Michael. Aaron. Okay. Will you call 911, please? Okay. You should I say he's calling? Aaron. Three, three and one, two bar. Sound, pound, and loud. Pound says to bartender, how can I tell? Barn says, um, four time power. Everybody time? Everybody time. Everybody time. Draw swab. Yes. Draw swab. Draw swab, yeah. I get it. <laughs> okay, we're going to do that.